According to the charge seat uh, cited by us here at TV3 News, the special prosecutor makes the argument that its criminal intelligence revealed that large sums of cash and monies deposited in the account of Madame Cecilia Dapa far exceed acceptable limits as a former minister of state. The special prosecutor further alleges that Madame Cecilia Dapa is engaged in real estate business and other businesses using aliases while receiving different sums in either hard cash or being deposited in her accounts. On the 590,000 US dollars and the 2.8 million CDs found in her home, the OSP cited 15 reasons as to why those set amounts were tainted. Notable amongst the OSP's reasons were claims by Madame Cecilia Dapa that part of the 2.8 million cities found in her home were proceeds from her cosmetic business, Demacare Cosmetics, and monies she had made from that particular business. However, searches by the OSP's investigative department revealed that the set business was not registered in her name. Lastly, on the monies found in the home of Cecilia Dapa, the respondents, that is, Cecilia Dapa and her husband, told the officers of the special prosecutor that the set amount were part of the initially stolen funds by her house helps. But interestingly, they had failed to report these new findings to the police on reasons why the bank account of the former minister should be frozen, the special prosecutor makes the case that under the alias of Nanaya Ode, the former minister sold real estate using the alias and received the proceeds of the sale into her prudential bank city account. The office of the special prosecutor also makes revelations that Strangely, the deceased brother of the former minister was still making payments into the city account of the former sanitation minister despite passing on in January of 2022. These set payments were captured between September of 2022 and May of 2023. The OSP makes the argument further that the dollar account of Cecilia Dapa, still with Prudential Bank, received substantial funds from herself in deposits as far back as 2016, November, and June of this year. In concluding the arguments, the special prosecutor makes the case and makes it strongly that the reasons are due for the affirmation of the seizures of the set amount in the home of Cecilia Dapa is a fit and proper case, one that the court must agree to. He further argues that the requirements needed for the account of the former minister to be frozen have been explicitly stated in the act which gives him the authority.